I can't tell if I'm actually live or not. Can anyone actually see any videos? Hi. Mother flipping Rollins. Is the video actually working? Because I don't know. I can't tell. Good morning. This is uh, Mommy's morning hair. I did brush it. It's just what it looks like. Thank you, Hispanic Spanish people. Crazy, wavy hair. Hmm. It seems to be working, but, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to double check this. It's always with live streams. I don't do them often enough. Oh, I'm thirsty. Fucking dry ass desert. Los Angeles. I mean, the weather is really nice, but. Oh, good. It is actually working. Great. Oh, man. Good morning. It's my morning anyways. Eight in the morning. So uh, here I am. You will see me doing laundry because I figured this is mommy's only free time. <laughs> Right now until Blake decides she's getting up. So I am going to be folding all kinds of sexy baby clothes. Woohoo! Onesies! Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, how are you guys doing out there? Whoever's out there. Hope everybody's okay. Uh, you know, I actually, people keep introducing me as a YouTuber and I haven't done YouTube that much in like literal years. So I should really get back on it. I got a new laptop, so... That should help. Things should get a little smoother now. <sighs> but I really want to eat breakfast. I'm like breakfast craving. I mean, obviously, it's morning. You would think to eat breakfast. But I've been doing intermittent fasting, which has made me lose a shit ton of weight. So very helpful. Uh, but, but, you have to like only eat between like a certain like six or eight hour window, which is what I've been doing for a few months. And like, seriously, I've lost a shit ton of weight with it. <laughs> But I'm fucking hungry, and I, I was a, not an asshole, I would say. I had alcoholic beverage last night. Uh, only one. But I had it at 7 p.m., which means I can't eat until, like, 11, but then I'm planning to go to the gym, so it's going to be like, uh, oh, good, Carlos. I'm glad that you're doing good. This shirt is ancient. It always smells funny. I know I'm supposed to be throwing this one out, but, like, I don't have enough clothes to justify throwing things out. Since I moved out here, I've, like, lost, I lost a lot of clothes, obviously. You move with only the bare essentials. And, uh, so, now I'm, like, trying to recollect items of clothing, and, uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. There's a, okay, so there's a super, super kitschy store on, um, Hollywood Boulevard, and it's, like, everything is $5 in the store, and it's, I'm sure the quality is absolute trash but you know five dollar t-shirts you know that, that's how I've gotten all my shirts except for the Stranger Things one this one was a gift from someone who works at Netflix and uh I'm pretty sure she got it for free she probably got like a crap ton of them she's like okay this is everybody's Christmas gift this year Stranger Things shirt and Netflix cafecito mugs you guys know what cafecito mug is it's a little cubic coffee mugs <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but we have them, so, for the guests. Oh, I moved to California, actually, like, probably six months ago, approximately. Um, yeah, so, we've been here for a while now. Um, things are finally, like, easing up. Like, the move out here was a bit of a craziness. I mean, it's still a craziness, because I need, like, employment, which I don't really have. Um, I have, like, employment in the sense that I still take care of the Airbnbs, though we have a manager who's, like, running them in England. But, uh, you know, L.A. life is damn expensive, so I really need, like, a job job. But I'm, like, you know, the problem is that I'm also trying to pursue the creative arts. So, oh, L.A. is your town? Really? Oh. So you know how fucking expensive it is. I really enjoy the taco trucks everywhere. I just love that. I love just trucks, like the stands. I love how, like, the families just, like, set up their own little tables in front of places. Like, here, buy some delicious tacos. It's fucking great. <laughs> food out here definitely is an improvement to uh, England, where the food was terrible. That, that's a lie. There is good food in England. I would just say, like, the overall standard is lower, but you could find good food. You just have to hunt for it. Whereas, um... 
here the overall standard is pretty good. Like, uh, it's hard for me to find bad food in LA. I'm sure there are places where the food is shitty, but so far I've been relatively lucky. But then again, uh, the person who, um, he's kind of like, I guess, my writing coach, you could say. Anyway, this dude is, uh, he's like a restaurant connoisseur. So I think part of the reason I haven't eaten any shitty food is because every like restaurant I've gone to or a good majority of them have been recommended by him. Hell yeah, but I don't care how expensive it is. I was raised there. Oh, dude. Yeah, I, I feel bad for the people who are like literally from here because I'm like, how the fuck do you like, I guess if you're like grandparents bought a house and you have to like inherit it back when like houses cost $110,000. You know, it's like insane. It's insane. Like you watch like a regular house, a regular house in like uh, LA is a million dollars. It's like out of this freaking world. Um, you know, it's really like so I'm renting, which is also crazy expensive. Um, but I do like my apartment now that it's gotten rid of the horrible roach situation that was here. Like there was a bad one. It kind of made me a little nuts. Finally, they evicted the people upstairs who I guess were the main culprits. Apparently, like it was a hoarder situation because, um, they like, we got like video of what happened. It was a uh, gruesome. Hell yeah. 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 yeah sorry. I, that was the same one. Oh, uh, ignore Stephanie. Oh my God. I'm so hungry. I'm going to say that this whole frick is dream. So I'm here until the laundry's done anyway. So luckily I can yap and yap and yap and yap. Um, but I did manage to watch like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, so I did make it to the movies. The thing is I actually pay for that goddamn AMC stubs so I could watch like three movies a week, you know, included. But does Stephanie actually go watch any movies? No, because she's a mom. So moms have little free time. No, I should be, you know, it's a, I'm being cruel or, or unfair. If I asked Basti to watch Blake, he totally would watch Blake. But um, I feel guilty about not spending enough time with my daughter lately, even though I always spend time with her. But the point is that I've been like trying to do a lot of stuff. Like, like I said, I'm trying to work in a creative industry. So it's like the, the nonstop hustle. You got to meet that person. Got to go there. Got to go do this. Ah, nonstop. So I've been, you know, pushing that more. But uh, as a result, I'm spending less time with my daughter. I still spend quite a bit of time with her, but I'm spending less time with her. And I love spending time with her, uh, though she's a little bit of a crazy daisy because she's a toddler now. Soral Arason. Soral Arason. Or am I pronouncing it Soral or Raisin? <laughs> Soral Arason. Hello, Remy. I like that name. <laughs> Uh, one of my comic book characters is named Remy. He's one of my favorite characters, actually. He's, it's even spelled the same way, with the I at the end, not the Y. I prefer it with the I at the end. Uh, I don't know, more laundry. All right, uh, yeah, so I've been trying to do stand-up comedy lately. Uh, it's been going all right, actually. I think I just need to keep doing it because I just have to be comfortable with getting on stage and remembering what the hell I'm talking about. So that should work. Uh, actually, me and lines and memorizing lines is probably uh, one of my hardest things to do. Oh, God, you know, don't complain about being hungry again, because that's all you're going to do. You're going to do the whole freaking stream and complain about hunger this entire time. Ah, oh, little purple baby shirts. It's Blake stuff. Like... I, I do laundry like once a week, which is actually not too bad considering, you know, kids really like screwing up stuff. But to be fair, Blake is not the one who causes the most laundry. It's Bosty. It's him. I don't know why, but like whenever he gets up, he like always has to like he gets up and puts on like fresh clothes. And then he's like, oh, I got to take a shower. So he'll take that clothes off, then shower and then put on other clothes. Like and then he's like, I'm going to go to the gym. So he's got that clothes on. And then he'll come back and get rid of the gym clothes and then put new clothes on. And then he's like, yeah, I don't know. I'm running out of underwear this week. I swear I only have been using like one pair of pants a day. <laughs> but that is what he do. <laughs> At least these shirts are soft, you know? As cheap as they are, they are soft shirts. 
Uh, so as I was saying, so I like took a test to become a substitute teacher. I passed said test and filled out the application, but it's like one of these, like, we'll get back to you in the order that we get these applications. And I haven't gotten anything back in the last few weeks. I was really hoping it would be a little quicker than this. Be like, okay, maybe I can start substitute teaching in March, but it does not seem to be the case, unfortunately. Well, I don't know when or if they'll get back to me. I assume I would... Um, have a drink with you? Have a drink on me. Mm. Okay. I, I, and then, no, I had a drink yesterday and then I felt guilty about it because, you know, I was like, oh, shit, I have things to do. I shouldn't be drinking. But I had the drink uh, because, like I said, I was doing stand-up comedy last night and uh, I needed to take the edge off of me getting on stage. I still get quite nervous. I'm still pretty new at it. So I'm like, let me just drink a little bit of alcohol that'll make me feel like slightly braver about this whole situation. I got a few laughs. It was like a ladies' night, which is somewhat uh, easier. Ethan, hey, Stephanie, long time no see. How's life treating you? Oh, it's been all right, actually. Like I was just saying, um, I need to find employment because the rent here is ridiculous. Um, but I have to find specific employment. Like I can't just get like any like full-time job unless the full-time job is specifically in the industry I want to work in because I kind of need the free time to work in towards getting a full-time job in the industry. And I can't just like, you know, do full-time like retail or something like that. Um, it would take too much of my time, which I don't have. So it's this weird thing. Like I said, I was trying to substitute teach and I haven't gotten, they haven't gotten back to me yet. Oh my God, these underwear look ancient, ancient granny panties. You know, it is what it is. You still need to keep them for your time or the month. <sighs> Ooh, here we go. Pants. Like, I would think, like, women would do this, like, really sexily. Like, oh, my God. So, <laughs> these are, like, my tiniest little thong underwear, and they're all lace. And, uh, I'm just going to show them to you guys. Oh, I'm so quirky. I make my own laundry. <laughs> but, no, I I'm being, like, legit about it. I'm like, oh, baby clothes, fucking... These Santa socks that I never wear, but for some reason Blake wants me to always put on her. Christmas is over, baby! Christmas is over! She has no concept of that yet. She just wanted to play with the tree. And besides, she gets presents year-round because she's the first and only grandchild. So, there's a lot of advantages to that. I'm kind of glad that, like, you know, she's the, the first grandchild, like... It's really helpful because people are, like, really willing to buy her, like, clothes. Because I have barely bought her any clothes since, like, literally her birth. Because I just get lots and lots of clothes as presents all the time. So, that is helpful. You know. And also, my family trust doesn't trust my crappy uh, fashion sense. So, uh, they especially buy her clothes. Because they're like, oh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna let you dress this poor child like the piece of shit you look like. <laughs> So, good on them. Uh, I look very tired. This is just like me in the morning, buddies, all right? Um, you know, what can I say? I'm in my mid-30s, and I have deep-set eyes. Um, and my hair, I was explaining, I brushed it, and it still looks like this. Ugh. Um, I have to wash it. That'll, that'll tame it down. Um, wash and blow-dry, and then straighten. Because, uh, you know, like a good ethnic person, I can't, like, leave my hair natural. Um, but, yeah, I mean, of course, I'm tired. I I have a one-and-a-half-year-old. That is life. <laughs> but, no, she's actually really, really good. She's, like, really fun. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, I've been following you since Japan. Oh, yeah. We've been meaning to go back. But um, it's like, okay, so here's the whole thing, right? Like, do we debate like the whole coronavirus thing? It's like, oh my God, are they making it too big a shit? And at which point I can get really good deals to go out there, but my family would totally kill me, you know, because I'd be bringing Blake out there. But you know what? All studies so far of the coronavirus say it is not adversely affecting children. It's actually elderly who are getting pretty bad. Uh, so, maybe it's okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a good thing, a little good way of looking at it. Either way, one of my best friends from Japan is actually coming to visit us next month, so we are excited to see her, the Takamura family. Actually, her son is my godson, so I gotta catch up on some fucking presents. 
Uh, my niece and nephew sing Jingle Bells 24-7. Oh, yes. I mean, Blake is still too, too young to, like, sing, sing, sing. I mean, she sings, but she doesn't sing words. So, uh, I'm looking forward to that. She does love to sing, though. She just sits there and just says, I, I'm trying to get what she's saying. Sometimes, you know, it's old McDonald. Uh, Bossy's been singing to her a lot in German. So, Blake is speaking German, if that makes any sense. German, but it's still like baby language, but it's the German version of baby language. She says nine instead of no. And sometimes she says things that are like, I'm like, what the fuck word is that? Um, and then Basti will like, oh, she's trying to say, ha ha ha. Um, my Spanish is garbage though, so I'm trying to teach her Spanish, but I don't know if she'll get it because I, I'm too, I think I'm a little too afraid to speak it because I, I put it this way. I got the word for shit and socks confused. All right. <laughs> Medias and mierda. <laughs> so uh, I'm deeply ashamed. <laughs> Uh, hi, Catfine Jedi. I love your videos. You are honest in all of them, and I really like that. Oh, thank you. I do my best to be honest. I know some people get a little bit off their toes uh, because I say things that uh, doesn't fit into their beautiful, visualized, ideal world that they see. That is a very prolonged way of saying that, Stephanie. Good fucking job. Oh, we're getting there. The laundry is getting lower and lower. Guys, we're making it. You know, I really should not leave the house looking like absolute trash. Uh, I should make an effort. Make the effort. All right? You know, it's it, take pride in your appearance, people. I know I don't. And I should because I'm not horrible. Say something in Spanish. I just did. Medias is socks and mierda is shit. <laughs> que mierda! Coño! There you go. Um... Ah, oh, that's my Miami in me. You can get a girl out of Miami, but you never can get the Miami out of the girl. Uh, I, I, I have worked very long in my life to not, uh, to not be so Miami. And what people, what I try to explain to people is like Miami people are like really aggressive. We like love to have fights. I guess a little bit like people from Boston, but like you know, hotter. Hello, Tammy Usagi. Nice to see you. But um, what I mean is that people in Miami are. I think it's the heat, like being in that heat and that humid, like, okay, so LA is hot, but LA is not humid hot. So it's a little bit more tolerable when you're like outside, even in like summer when it's 101 degrees, because Miami is 101 degrees and then there's humidity, like, like, oh, it's like a sauna. So you're stuck in traffic because Miami's traffic is infamously bad. I mean, LA traffic is even worse, but Miami is also freaking horrible, as are all metropolitan cities at the moment. And like, it's humid and you have the AC on full blast, but it doesn't fucking matter because it's like, you see the waves of heat like emanating from the freaking pavement of the of whatever highway you're on and just like like I said bumper to bumper traffic I've tried to tell people that I've seen people get out of their cars and have a fist fight in the street and like nobody believed me until like this Facebook group that exists called what is it called only in Miami Dade existed and then that's all that page is is all the insanity that is living in Miami and sure enough there is a few video more than a few videos of people getting to fights in traffic getting out of the streets and having like fist fights and I'm like I told you guys say something in Russian I don't speak Russian my friend yet is that Russian that's no right isn't babushka a uh, grandma in Russian that's it that's all vodka right vodka is that Russian that's Russian. I can't drink vodka. Deadly ones for me. Can never have them. But I can have... What can I have? All right. Strangely enough, everybody says rum and tequila give them the worst hangovers. Well, my friends, it might be my Latino genes, but both of those don't make me that sick. I mean, I'm sure that if I kept drinking it, I would be hungover. But it takes a lot. Uh, God, when I used to live in Japan, I used to get, like, crazy drunk. The, like... That was the land where I definitely, like, you know, skirted alcoholism, definitely. Uh, because people keep buying you drinks, and it's generally quite cheap. You know, oh, even going out, going out in L.A. is, like, crazy expensive, too. It's, like, everything is expensive. Um, a drink is easily, like, $13, $14. So you want a drink? $14! $14! Damn. 
Luckily, it was happy hour yesterday, so I got one drink for $7.28 plus tip. I also don't much care for having a tip again. I'm like, oh, God damn it. Why do we have to tip? I mean, I know you should. I'm not one of these people who are like, no, I'm not going to tip because I don't believe in tipping. I'm like, that's a douchebag move. But I don't enjoy doing it. Like, not in the way that we have to. Like, it's like, you better put down 15%. If you're a piece of shit, you should be putting down 20. They'll make like $14 an hour. Like, that's what waiters make. Oh, no, 13. Okay, so I looked this up. I believe that the minimum wage in Los Angeles is either $14 or $15. I think it's 14 And being a waiter, I think it's 13 So I'm like, that's not even that bad. What the fuck? It's not like you're making $2 an hour. I could be totally wrong. I do not work in the service industry, but I have enough friends who work in the service industry that I should just fucking ask them. So, uh, oh, I got tickets to go watch Cirque du Soleil, Volta, uh, which I got for free. Because uh, one of the girls in my acting class, she's in the show, which is, sounds kind of exciting. She's like a really cool like Finnish chick. Apparently she plays the violin and sings. I have heard her do neither of these things, but I've been told it's majestic and I really have to do that. Anyway, she, she sends me an email yesterday saying, hey, I got tickets. You want to come? So I'm totally going and I can't wait. Uh, excited. Very excited. Anyway, uh, I love Cirque du Soleil. I've seen like way too many of their shows. Like, they have gotten way too much of my money, all right? I don't know why, but I'm a sucker for, you know, the artsy circus. Um, <laughs> my favorite one, though, is, uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched it. Uh, anyway, I recommend it. If you've never gone to Circus Lay, don't, definitely don't go as often as I do. I go an insane amount. Uh, I liked Zed, which was in Tokyo Disneyland. I like uh, Ka, which is, like, in uh, Las Vegas. Um, I can't even tell you how many I've seen. A lot of them. Too many. Stephanie has seen too many Cirque du Soleil's. Alright. <sighs> Look at all these baby socks. They don't even match. What the fuck is wrong with me? No, oh, and my hair is in it. No! So I cut my hair, if you guys haven't noticed. I actually cut it much shorter. It's uh, it's finally starting to grow out. But the reason I did it is because, like, um, it was like a pain in the ass to brush. And I, like, shed like a dog. Like a very sheddy dog. So, hair of mine is everywhere all the time. It's just like a chaos, chaos hair. Chaos hair! Chaos hair! Ah, <sighs> oh, I fucked up my wrist. Frey Jacques, Frey Jacques, Dormez vous, dormez vous. Tourne la matine, tourne la matine, ding dong ding. Support the baby arts. Ah. Oh. I have to do some editing. So, yeah, like I said, the reason I'm doing this live stream is I just finally got a new laptop. Thank you, Father. Thank you, my beloved dad. You have saved me because I've had a lot of crap piling up. So I finally am going to work on some projects that I've been sitting on, which have been driving me crazy for literal years. And that's it. I'm done. I'm done with this. I need to finish some projects I'm working on. I need to fucking edit again. I, I kept getting hit on by one of my ex-clients, and it's really awkward. I'm really annoyed. I need work. Not fucking your stupid hitting on me. I want money and not in that way. Not in the way that you have, you know, not in the prostitute way. I want money in the sense of like, are you going to hire me again to do some editing for you? Or are you going to call me the hot director? I go out of my way to look so shitty and I still get this shit. Oh man, no, that sounded like too like full of music. I go out of my way to look so shitty and, and guys still hit on me. Like, I don't understand. Ugh. <laughs> That's not how I meant but it did sound like that, didn't it? Didn't it? Sorry. Didn't mean it that way. Oh my god, we're finally getting through this laundry pile. I literally only have like five pieces left. Yes, I have some little baby pants. Duerme, duerme, negrito, que tu mama está en el campo negrito. That sounds vaguely racist. Um, like, okay, so the, if you guys are from Miami, or have been to Miami, you know of DJ Laz, the pimp with the limp. He is a, uh, DJ, as it says in his name, uh, in, uh, on, well, he used to be on Power 96, I don't think he's on Power 96 anymore, is he? This, I don't even fucking know. Anyway, um, he used to make some soft girl, or, like, mixed race woman, or dark skinned woman. Brown woman, essentially. Anyway, and the whole song is just how, you know, he wants to dance 
with the mixed race girl because they're better dancers. It's probably true. Maybe that's why I suck at dancing. I am. <laughs> My dad was an excellent dancer. Now he can't dance so good. He got shingles and it fucked him up. Which is sad. Vaccinate your stupid fucking children. Some stupid kids had chicken pox. They didn't tell my dad. Um, so my dad got chicken pox as an adult, which gave him shingles. Hello, Charles. Nice to see you. Wow, I just got a horrible case of vertigo. Or there's an earthquake happening. That sometimes happens to me here. I'm like, man, I feel like the, the ground is shaking. Is that me? And then I have to like Google it. I'm like, oh, sometimes it is me. And I'm like, what the fuck? And other times I'm like, no, the ground is definitely shaking. That used to happen to me in Japan too. I'm like, God damn, I swear I'm fucking getting really bad vertigo out here. Oh no, it's earthquakes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've succeeded. I swear that one has to be an earthquake. No, I'm just a crazy person. I love your short hair. Thank you. I actually love it this way too. It has uh, made my life a million times easier. Um, I, ha I mean, people always ask me if I miss the blue hair. Like, oh, are you going to go back to the blue hair? And I really had that. I had the blue hair for years. And I did really enjoy it. And I got it quite, like, like a lot. Really cool looking when I got it in all the colors. But it was, like, expensive to maintain. And it, like, turned my bathtub blue. And that blue hair dye would get on everything. And then it would stay on everything for days. And I'd have blue ears and... Oh, I had a big fear when I got married, you know, because I, I got it blue for the wedding. And um, I was like, this is going to get all over my wedding dress. Ah, uh, I How's the baby? She's good. She's still sleeping. She'll probably wake up soon for her morning milky milks, as we call it. Do you miss the ramen in Japan? Okay, so kind. Obviously, I miss the ramen in Japan. I used to get like ramen, like a giant bowl of ramen for like five fucking dollars. Uh, whereas here, it's like... You know, sophisticated specialty food. So a bowl of ramen, if you get a good one, it's going to be like $17. You wanted that egg, didn't you? You want that extra egg? <laughs> I do want the extra egg. I need it. So uh, ramen in LA is decent, but it's like fancy. Um, whereas you can get, you don't get the hole in the wall ramen, you know, where the old man is smoking a cigarette and he's like, it's sure, you know, when you walk in. <sighs> so I miss that. How's my husband? Uh, he's good. He's still sleeping. Um, I think we're both finally adjusting a little bit better to life out here. It took us a little bit of time. He is way more, um, how can I say this? Friendly? Yeah, probably. He is way more friendly than I am when he like goes out. He talks to people really easily. I'm like, a, you know, it's not that I dislike people. I just get really bad at anxiety. I think I've mentioned this in a video before that I'm like, I'm, I'm an introvert, but not an introvert that doesn't, like, like, likes to be an introvert. I'm a reluctant introvert. I would rather be an extrovert. I love to talk to people because, you know, networking is the way to do things. But I'm like, <gasps> my brain hurts. I forgot how to speak English. I suddenly started speaking with a British accent. Shit, why did that happen? Oh, no. They're talking to me. They're asking me weird questions. Uh, uh uh stare at the ground and that's me <laughs> and that is shitty um <laughs> but somehow um i managed to make at least a few friends uh, so i don't like that but but bossy's good at it so we've been because of bossy we've been invited to a neighborhood potluck so we can make friends with the other parents at the park which bossy's good at and like i said i suck at i have four socks and none of them match and now the alarm is going off and I could kill Vosti. Why does he keep having that goddamn alarm on? Right. Ah, here it is. All right, to really mess with me, though he did this on purpose, I have to solve math equations to turn this shit off. Oh, come on. You're bad at this. No, I'm getting an easier one. No. No. Okay. This one sounds better. So, 150 minus 111. You know what? I'm cheating. I'm putting on my calculator. I, you know, the thing is, if I took three seconds to figure this out, I'd get it. Yeah, but I don't want to annoy you guys. Where's the calculator? 150 minus 111 minus... Okay, there we go. Now I know. Shush. Thank you. 
Why does he do that? Do you miss the UK? Uh, okay, so I miss my friends in the UK, and there's certain aspects of the UK I miss. What, what would they be? I miss the ability to get cheap alcohol. Definitely. And I miss the fact that I could walk everywhere really easily in my town. I didn't have to drive. I miss that I didn't have to pay rent because I owned my own house. I mean, I still own that house, but now I own that house and pay rent, which sucks. Um, but it wasn't 39, honey. There was more to it. Thank you, Beaver Bosti. There you are. Uh, <laughs> um, but I miss my friends. I definitely miss some of my friends out there. Like I had a good friend group and now I need to make a new friend group and that's difficult. The older you get, the harder, the harder it is to make new friends. Uh, do, so you're planning on attending the coronavirus potluck this weekend? Yeah, you know, <laughs> we don't have too many cases. I mean, the thing is with it, maybe we do have a bunch of cases nobody knows because you don't get any symptoms for like two weeks. That's the whole issue, isn't it? It's like, oh crap. You don't know uh, if you even have it for two weeks. So, I don't know. Okay. I, you know what? My mom was giving me shit because I went to a chiropractor last couple days ago. And it was like in basically one of many Chinatowns of Los Angeles. It was Monterey Park, which is full of Chinese people. Um, like, you go there and all the signs are in Chinese. And I get, I can't believe you went there. I'm like, yeah, but, you know... Who gives a fuck? I'm fine. It's like a chiropractor. I don't also want to be a dick. Also, the chiropractor was cheap as fuck and real good. Citizen of the United Kingdom. I mean, I have many reasons. But for my own selfish reasons, it's like, it's like such a, a fucking shoot, shot down the British pound, which like I said, at my, ho my home is in the UK. So a lot of my net worth is in this house, which is in the UK, in Great British Pounds, that have now been losing value because of fucking Brexit. So it's like, ha ha, there's your savings down the toilet, ha 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 ha. And then on top of that, it's, uh, we get a lot of tourism from the UK, uh, from Europe in the UK that stay at the house, because like I said, it's a guest house. Um, so that's taking a hit. It, right now the weather is absolutely atrocious. So I heard that I'm having like leaks. Like I get messages from my manage, manager. She's like, oh, here's a list of shit you need to fix in this 150 year old Victorian house. Um, not only that, rainy, which means less people will want to come out. Like when the weather's good, people try to go to the beach. We're by the beach. So weather sh shit right now. Plus people are scared of coronavirus, which is in fucking Brighton. Thank you. Like, they, they brought that there. They have more cases than they do in Los Angeles, I can assure you that. Uh, so, making new friends sucks. Um, like, okay. I like, actually, once they're already in the friendship area, it's way okay. But, yeah, making new friends is totally difficult. And I'm a weirdo, so, like, you know, people will, like, talk to me and I'll be like, I start telling him, like, I did a lot of drugs and went to sex parties. God damn it. Also, I'm a parent, so I stopped doing everything, just so that we're clear. <laughs> now I am old and boring. <sighs> it must be a head thing. I'm really feeling, like, woozy. I'm like, ugh. It can't be the ground shaking. This time it's me. In case you're still watching, honey, I, I found your, your sleeping pants. <laughs> You were supposed to make more cooking videos drunk. What happened? Oh my goodness. Well, parenting happened. It's, uh, I don't think I'm allowed to be, like, I don't know. I've definitely been, no, I haven't been drunk in front of Blake. I feel, like, really guilty if I am. I'd have to do drunk videos next time I can secure a babysitter. Hello, hello. Oh, hi, Simon. I was talking about my wedding earlier, Simon. He made it to the wedding. Um... Drove in from Belgium. See? So it's, I'm friendly. I I invited people. Actually, most people didn't even want to come to my wedding. No, that's not true. The thing is, I had a, what's it called, wedding? Um, a destination wedding, which always makes things difficult for people. So I got married in um, Germany, you know, because it was way cheaper than getting married in Miami, and it was way cheaper than getting married in England. I mean, I'm sure I could have gotten one of those cheap weddings in Miami, like where they do quinceañeras and stuff, but I wouldn't do that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm about to go to grocery shopping. I'll enjoy your grocery. 
shopping. <laughs> Get drunk live, it's fun. Uh, it's fucking 8.30 in the morning, and I have a laundry list of shit I'm supposed to be doing today. So that ain't happening, children. I mean, maybe uh, one evening I'll do it. See, right now, like I said, it's 8.30 in the morning here. I might... <sighs> the thing is, I'm just really loud when I'm drunk. And I've heard t kind of obnoxious. Uh, greetings from Slovenia. I've never made it to Slovenia, actually. I made it to... As east as I went, I went to Latvia. Um, which was actually, like, really pretty. Like, I really enjoyed it. Um, I went there for a wedding. Simon knows whose wedding I went to. <laughs> uh, but... Oh my gosh. Let's see. I, sh I, I have successfully finished the laundry. I mean, not finished. Washing it. Finished. Folding it! But you know, the issue is, if Blake sees this nice piles of freshly made laundry, uh, freshly folded laundry, she will attack it. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. Like, for her, it's, a, it's like fun. She's like, oh, thanks, Mom. You made this nice pile of clothes that I could just grab at. Not everyone is doomed to become boring, merely tired, becoming boring, letting your tiredness win over your desire to do something after you've already had enough rest. Well, that may be true, but I am also tired. <laughs> so uh, I've been taking more vitamins lately. That's funny. That's how you can tell you're getting old. It's like, let's have some vitamins. Like, make sure I take my vitamins. I'll, I'll notice if I don't have them. Um... But you're right, sometimes I really have to just force myself up because um, I miss networking opportunities sometimes where it's like, oh, you gotta come here, it's 9.30 at night. And I'm like, oh, damn it, I don't wanna get out of fucking the house. That's hard. Ugh. But you know, like yesterday, I forced myself to do uh, the stand-up, which was cool. <laughs> oh, I'm sure Latvia is nowhere near Slovenia. I know. I'm just saying, it's Europe. That's as east as I went. Um... Indeed. Did you vis visit Riga? I did visit Riga. Actually, it was very lovely. I only spent like an afternoon there because where I actually was was Cersei. Cersei's? Is that how you say it? Cersei's? If you know Latvia, you must know this place. Um, I was there for a wedding. Um, let's say you made a cooking video before once buzzed like all hell. It was fun. Why does everybody want to see that video? Again? I hardly ever fold my washing. <laughs> I'm sorry that this lobby is nowhere near there. Uh, yeah, okay, so everybody wants to see these buzzed cooking videos. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't think my kitchen is appropriate for it. Nah, I could definitely do it if I, you know, move stuff around. But this, the problem of being drunk as an adult with a child is that I still have to do things, like, with my child and not be drunk. Because, you know, that makes you a shitty parent, isn't it? Like, you can't really be... I mean, I've heard, like, people's stories, like, Dad always used to be drinking. He was drunk all the time. And, you know, and I'm like, oh, I can't be that fucking parent. I can't be a Helga's mom from Hey Arnold. Did you guys ever watch Hey Arnold? Like, I never got that she was an alcoholic until I was an adult. And then I watched it, and I'm like, oh, my God. Her smoothies. Now I get it. <laughs> I hate going out at night. Screw networking. I You have to go out at night, though. You have to do it. Jonah Vita. Jonah, are, are you Jonah? Are you artist Jonah? I'm just double checking that that's you? Or are you a different person? <laughs> uh, um, you go running with the baby. I'm not going to get drunk and run out with my kid, all right? That's, like, wrong. Bad parenting. You guys are bad influence. Bad influence. Nine. All right. Uh, oh, God, my back is fucked. That's cool. Even though I'm, like, really flexible, that's the one thing I'll say, is that I am... I do a lot of yoga, so uh, I'm really flexible, but have really, like... My muscles are also, like... Like, fuck you, you're not moving anywhere. Yeah, try and do a split. I'll split your fucking ass open. <laughs> it's time for a snack. No, it's not snack time yet. Best parenting is done drunk. That's the only time my father told me to love me. He also has the art. Oh, cool. Oh, it's you. I've never even actually, like, spoken, spoken to you. Even though we've communicated for years. <laughs> uh, um, I love all of your stuff, by the way. I guess that's why I keep coming back, right? Like, 
I still want you to you know, take more of my money. <laughs> no, but you're really good, so I enjoy it. Um, let's see. I mean, for exercising, uh, I oh, um, I, I no running. I hate running. I'll, I'll run away when someone's chasing me with a knife. That that's how I run. Um, I I oh, so I went to Zumba class. Fucking made a complete jackass out of myself. Like I'm there. Okay, the fucked up thing is the guy who teaches Zumba class is like a chunky Mexican. So, and he's like, he moves like liquid. He's like, just, oh, everybody, ladies, we do the flamenco. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh my God, I suck at this. Give, turn in my Cuban card. All right, I can't dance. I have no rhythm. Oh God. <laughs> anyway, embarrassing. But he like is like insisting I keep coming. He's like, no, you get better. You just keep coming. My accent there is fucking not his accent at all. Um... Let's see. I haven't been out in ages. Uh, that was in Japan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you not miss the nightlife in Japan? Like I do. I know you've only gone a few times, but when I used to live there, I really missed. You know what I mean? Because you'd miss the train and you'd be stuck in Tokyo in the middle of the night. So, you know, you, what else can you do? You got to go bar hopping. Izakayas. Oh, I miss a good izakaya, man. Fuck. I want those little fried shrimp that are like whole fried. Like they don't take the skin off or anything. Oh, that's so good. They're like crunchy potato chips with meaty shrimp in them. What are the kaw kawaii? Kawaii, those are yummy. Uh, but think of all the networks you could attract with your cuteness assets or, I mean, your child. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So this is so Hollywood. Since I've been out here, he's like, so have you gotten your child an agent yet? So have you gotten her an agent? Uh, what are you looking for? You got representation for Blake yet? I think you should get representation for Blake. She's a really good looking baby. <laughs> like, so I want to get representation for Blake, but I also feel really guilty about it because I don't want to be one of those psycho stage moms, you know, like, but Blake, okay, I, she's 16 months, so how much can you tell? But like, from my experience, just like the way she acts in her little music classes and stuff, she's like, she likes to be the center of attention, you know, this is going to be definitely an only child because she would eat, she would destroy a younger child, anyone who'd get in her freaking limelight already, so I'm like, huh. Maybe she would like being on the stage. Um, I'm putting her in like ballet classes because I'm a psycho mom. Because I'm one of those millennial moms who are like, oh, yes, we must put everything that we need to do for, you know, your enrichment. Like I said, she's already in music class. <laughs> do babies even know what music is? They do. Is Cashew good with networking? Oh, Cashew. I miss my pup. I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but Cashew right now is in Miami. She's been living at my mom's house. Um, unfortunately, when Blake was learning how to crawl and walk, she was very grabby at Cashew, and Cashew didn't much care for it, and I didn't want Cashew and her to get, you know, Cashew would get growly. Um, so, we want to get Cashew back. Um, maybe we'll pick her up when we go in there in June. We will be in Miami in June. My grandfather's turning 90! Good old abuelo. Um... But think of all the network, let me see. I was away from the computer. In one point you said, you are boring. You are not boring, hun, believe me. Uh, yeah, I miss going out at night. Belgium just doesn't compare. Uh, yeah, and aren't you kind of in the countryside of Belgium, Simon? Um, I didn't make it out to Belgium. We wanted to, but we even thought about it. Um, we're going to go back to Germany, maybe in October-ish. So maybe we can make it out to you. Mm. The thing is, um, oh, so, like, my, the, the girl who was my maid of honor, um, is getting married. Catherine, you remember Catherine, so Simon remembers Catherine. I don't know if any of you guys do. I don't know if she ever, she showed up in, like, one video of mine, like, forever ago, which was me mispronouncing British things, I think. Uh, so, she's this blonde woman who's now a solicitor. Oh, yes. She's doing way better than I am. <laughs> Even though we went to school together. But, like, she stayed with law and I hated law. So, there you go. Uh, you're jealous of people who have grandparents? So, um, my maternal grandmother has passed. She passed three years ago. Um, so, she's gone. God rest her soul. I really miss her. I miss her so much. She was great. You know, she, unfortunately, Alzheimer's took her in. That is the worst way to go. I would rather have cancer. It was gruesome. Um, but, no, nah, it's one horse town between Antwerp and Ghent. I do not know either of those places. How long did it take you to get to, like, us in Germany? So then I know how long it's going to take me to get to you. Uh, 
Don't you wear funny hats anymore? Oh, well, since you bring it up. <laughs> Better? <laughs> I don't wear funny hats anymore. Because, you know what it was? Is that I moved, and so much of my stuff got put in storage or sold or got rid of that I lost a lot of them. And now I'm trying to recollect things, but I also don't want to get too much crap because I only have a two-bedroom apartment, which I heard is amazing for living in Los Angeles, but still, I downsized from a four-bedroom house. So we had to get rid of a lot of stuff. It took four hours driving. Oh, that's not that bad, four hours. We might be able to do four hours, eight hours, actually, if I return. Four hours for you, Simon. <laughs> um, we'll try to make it, because like I said, I'm, uh, uh, we'll be out there around October. Um, though Bossy wants to go earlier, I don't know, we gotta see how finances are right now, like, uh, like I said, we make a lot of money with tourists, and tourism at this time is not so good, because everybody's scared of getting coronavirus. I like, I keep switching my side on how I feel about it, it's like, oh my god, it's scary as fuck, I'm like, yeah, I bet they're exaggerating, it's not that bad, oh my god, no, it's terrible, no, 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 it's sorry, they're probably just being ridiculous. Maybe I should take advantage of some of these good discounts. Then again, what if I get quarantined? That's going to suck. Look at those people in Japan off the cruise ship. Yeah, same deal with my maternal grandmother. Really crushed my maternal granddad's spirit for three years after her body was also gone. Yeah, you know, my grandfather, uh, my maternal grandfather's still alive. Uh, he is, like I said, he's turning 90. Um... So, so, like I said, we're talking about cruise ships. We're supposed to take a cruise ship with them. And my family's now all like, oh, I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> but he's still around. My paternal grandfather, my biological paternal grandfather, like, was gruesomely murdered before I was born. <laughs> I'm laughing at this, but, like, it's because, like, I'm trying to do, like, a, an act on uh, <laughs> my family and how, like, there's all this crazy... My Colombian side of my family, like, stereotypes, right? Like, they all, like, so many of them deal with some really violent fucking deaths. <laughs> um, but my, my paternal grandmother is still around. And she remarried uh, to a very white man. And uh, so that man, Jack, is his name. He is like my grandfather. To me, in my head, that's my grandfather. Um, but... You know, I will say this, living in LA, it's kind of, well, like I said, we need to make friends because we need people to help us babysit. I so know that sounds <laughs> rude, but no, I like, I, it was good to have like a friendship circle. It was always helpful because I like, I had to do maintenance on my house and I'd be painting and one of our friends would come over and watch Blake and it was nice. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, same deal with my material. Uh, cool, I have time to, to clean the apartment then. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes things easier. It's only a two-bedroom, so I don't have to clean as much. But he's a lot better now. We take, we will help him take care of a puppy. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad that, you know, things are improved. My grandfather was, he's a cantankerous, grumpy old man. And he's always been a cantankerous, grumpy old man. Uh, but we love him for it. Even though he will still, like, like throw a shoe at you. You know, he's like one of these types. Like, ah, coño. He only speaks Spanish. <laughs> but he really, really is happy when he sees Blake. Like, he really lights up. He's like, you know, because he got a great grandchild. So he made it that far. Takes a village and no exploitation of your neighbors. Yeah, I know. Um, like I said, bossy has been good about, like, meeting other parents and stuff and making friends. Um... Which is nice. I, I would say, like, okay, so compared to Brighton, I think I'm happier where we are raising Blake than I was in Brighton because Brighton has a really, like, okay, so L.A. has a shit ton of homeless people, and it certainly does, um, but Brighton has a shit ton of really aggressive drug-taking in the middle of the street in daylight shooting up heroin homeless people. Which is not so good. Like, there would end up being a lot of needles in a lot of places, and a lot of human shit in a lot of weird places. And that doesn't happen as often in good old uh, Glassell Park, which is where I live by. Oh no, I've told you where I live. Now you can kind of figure out the vicinity of where I semi am. Uh, 
I don't really mind about that stuff. You know, people get really freaked out. Like, what if someone shows up on your doorstep? I'm like, well, no, they really shouldn't. You know, stuff's a little Second Amendment happy. You really don't want to do that. Uh, oh, Simon says hi to Bosti. I don't know if he's still awake. He might be in the kitchen. Let me hear. I hear someone in the kitchen. <laughs> well, if someone's in the kitchen, like, it has to be Bosti, inevitably. Like, no one... Or Blake? All my grandparents are dead. They are, were all kinds of shitty racist men, conservative men, but at least one of my grandmas left me a letter declaring me her favorite grandson. I won. Oh, good fuck. I was also the favorite. My grandmother did the same thing. My, my, not, not she was, okay, yes. Admittedly, all my grandparents are, even my old 90-year-old abuelo right now, he's, he's a little racist. Not as racist as he used to be, but <laughs> definitely. Not racist against white people. Does that sound fucking wrong? They're like, congratulations, Stephanie. You married the whitest man you could. We're proud of you. <laughs> so I was fucked up because it's true. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> definitely there were some aspects, uh, like, that were a little bit racist. Um, so I get that. But yeah, my, my maternal abuela told my mom, I guess, like, before she, a, a while ago, she said, you know, my mom has three kids too. So she's like, oh, Stephanie's my favorite. Thank you. I am so lovable. Uh, <laughs> I showed up on your doorstep in Brighton. Simon, you gave me you gave me notice. All right. So you told me you were coming and you brought chocolate. So I allowed you in and you could stay. <laughs> so there you go. L.A. sounds like Vancouver. Lots of busy corners with people shooting up. Well, no, L.A. doesn't have the people shooting up. Brighton does. Uh, I mean, maybe they do. I haven't seen them. But I'm in a car. Whereas Brighton, I had to walk places. So it's like everybody shooting up all the fucking time. Oh, fucking Brighton. You know what? Brighton made me more conservative. That's the fucked up part. <laughs> like, 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 I'm not a conservative. Okay, just so you guys know. I am definitely still very much a liberal. But, like... I would say because of the the huge amount of um, of homeless population that get, and they were really mean. They're mean homeless people. They aren't like, hey, do you want to quarter homeless people? They're like, I'll fucking kill you. I'm like, oh fuck. <sighs> uh, your sister may beg to differ. Oh no, she knows it's true. <laughs> I also have a cousin too, and a brother. Wait, you met my brother. Um, you didn't get to meet my sister because my sister didn't come to the wedding. Cause she's an asshole. No, 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 that's not why. She was she was in university and unfortunately she had a really shitty professor who was like, Yeah, you leave, you fail my fucking class. Fuck your sister's wedding. Um Yeah, you know, uh, there better be chocolate. Yeah, but I'll also say Simon brought fancy chocolate. He did not just bring me some Reese's cups. Though I fucking love Reese's cups, so you know, just saying. <laughs> uh <sighs> God, I love Reese's Cups. I can't think about food right now. You know what's the worst thing ever? You guys ever watch, um, can't believe I'm, I'm saying this. You guys ever watch BuzzFeed's, uh, like I'm, I'm saying, yeah, watch BuzzFeed. I fucking hate BuzzFeed. Except for a couple things. There's a few things I love about it. Uh, BuzzFeed's, um, worth it. Like that show. God damn, it makes me so hungry. The thing is, now that I live in LA, a lot of the places in the worth it videos are in Los Angeles. So I'm like, son of a bitch. I want to try this place. I don't want to try that place. I don't want to try that place. Uh, about a kilo should do it. Yeah, you did bring... And you brought rum ones. You want to know the fucked up thing? Basti ate all of them. The last time you came, I didn't eat a single one. Basti, like, you know, he would smoke up, and then he would just, like, empty out the cabinets of chocolate. He's like, I didn't want them to go to waste, so I ate all of them. <laughs> you fear uh, does that people don't let the mind killer get you. That's true. This year's gonna make Trump great again. Yeah, I don't fucking know. All right, so I'm not like a. I find Trump really annoying, and I don't like a lot of his policies. And I think he does more bad than good. But I don't like have this huge like hate boner for him like some people do. Though I don't like him. I do like Bernie more. Don't tell Basti. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll vote for whatever Democrat wins the uh, the nomination. That's all I could do. Uh, the, my, my main issue, though, is that uh, I don't want him picking any more people for the Supreme Court. And Ruth Bader Ginsburg is like a thousand years old. So uh, the court is already fucked, but we can't get it anymore. Fucked her. <laughs> all right? The thing is, Roberts, who was put in by George W. Bush, he's a conservative, but he has 
gone the other way a couple times, but still, he's still voting conservative a lot. But him, I, he's he's one of these that like sway a little bit. You know, gay when um, gay marriage, uh, it was his. He voted to uh, say that gay marriage should be allowed everywhere. So interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's taboo, but what happened to the guy you lived with in Japan? Um, are you talking about the, the fucking psychopath Masaki or Masahiro? Masahiro was a cool one who was a nice guy. Masaki was a psychopath. I don't know what happened to him. Last time I heard, he, like, I don't know, probably fucking married someone. Married some idiot. Um, his parents were nice. His mom was nice. I really liked his mom. I think I liked his mom more than him. Not I think. I definitely did. And as for Masahiro, also I would call him Marley. Um, he's doing really good. So last time, I saw him in Germany because he lives in Germany. So I know he's got a Russian girlfriend now, or at least he did last time I talked to him. Um... In Germany, he's trying to move to Spain. That was the last thing he told me, that he's like, I guess Germany's just too hardcore for him in terms of, like, the strictness, which is strange because he was always like, you're too Latin and crazy. And then he moved to Russia. And then he fucking real, he got it good about, like, oh, you think I'm nuts. Enjoy Russia, buddy. So he was in Russia for, like, a year. Then he moved to Germany, and he seemed to like Germany because he said it was like Japan. But now he wants to go to one of the more laid-back countries, so he wanted to go to Spain. So... I wish he well. I hope he goes to Spain. Um, I don't know. I should, I should message him and see what he's doing. He was into Bitcoin. Him and Basti had a thing about, like, you know, talking about Bitcoin. Oh, God, I wish we hadn't sold all our Bitcoin. I'd be so rich right now. <sighs> Life sucks like that. Can you get decent, genuine Japanese food here? Uh, apparently so. Um... I will say this, um, I heard there is a little Tokyo in Los Angeles, which I have not, uh, frequented yet. Um, I went to a Kaiten Sushi place, which was decent, but, you know, you have to tip, and that's not very fucking genuine, but, you know, you have to tip, it's America. Uh, but, so, that was alright, the food was decent. Um... I would say because, like I said, things that I'm used to being real cheap in Japan are much more expensive here. Chocolate is a savoring circumstance, not a devour food. <laughs> Tell that to Basti when he's high. <laughs> Basti doesn't smoke that much anymore, though. Because, you know, parenting. And I got it real bitchy. And I was like, God fucking damn it! <laughs> but we're in, because we're in L.A., it's like everywhere. You could just go to a shop and buy it. And buy anything you want. Um, I did manage to eat one edible cookie, and I was... And the reason I did it was because my parents were here, and so they were babysitting. But they came with my sister, and so me, my sister, and Basti. And my sister and Bas Basti and my sister both have way higher tolerances than I do. And I hadn't done anything in so long because, you know, parenting. Uh, so I ate that cookie, and I was just, like, bouncing off the fucking wall. How far are you from Culver City? I don't think I'm that far. Let's find out through the Google Maps. Culver City. I feel like I've gone to Culver City for some reason I can't remember. Like, oh, there, it's in Culver City. What is Culver City? Culver City. Sounds like a weird way of saying it. Culver City. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I left the UK six months ago. Um, but I'm. Still supposed to go back sometimes. Culver City. It's 11 miles from me. So actually it's not far at all. <laughs> High people aren't allowed to have food opinions. They're not. <laughs> but uh, uncivilized outlanders. <laughs> it's true. All right. My, my um, standards for food dropped significantly when I used to smoke a lot of weed. Oh, man, I used to eat insane amounts of food. It's like, oh, anything that was there, it's like, let's eat this, let's eat that. Blah, 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 blah. Um, but it's been a while. Stephanie is older now. I have a friend who was on the show who is a yoga teacher in Culver. Okay, well, they're not far from me at all. Actually, they're only 11 miles away, so it's probably like a... Well, funny thing about L.A., uh, is 11 miles could take you anywhere from, you know, 10 minutes to 
10 hours, no hour, that's exaggerated, but it's like two and a half hours sometimes. If you're going through the airport, I dropped off um, a friend of mine, Jenny. If you guys ever watch her, her name is Jenny Lorenzo, and she does a lot of stuff on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm still doing Airbnb. <sighs> Bane of my existence. But no, I also, it's also my only source of income, and I'm dealing with, like I was saying earlier, the lack of tourism because it's raining all the time and there's a coronavirus scare. So, fucking up my fucking income right now. I also don't want anyone to die, all right? Like, I'll be legit about it. I dare say the continued atrocity of pineapple pizza is no small part due to high folk. All right. I don't get what the fuck people's problem with God. Worst off, I don't eat that much pizza anyway. I know, I'm one of these people who's like, you know, pizza's like sex. Even though it's bad, it could still be good. No, there's definitely bad sex. And there is definitely bad pizza, all right? And, um... Pineapple on a pizza? Eh. Does your Cuban family like Joey Diaz? Yes, they do. I met him! I met Joey Diaz! Um, I said hi to him. Uh, uh, I, he was at the comedy store, and I went to go see him, and I talked to him outside and stuff, and I'm trying to go to the open mic of the comedy store, but the way you get in there, like, to even go up, it's like a lottery system. So it's like, good luck, bitch, <laughs> um, to do the open mic. But I, uh, I really... Uh, yeah, uh, he was really nice, you know. He tried to speak to me in Spanish. I froze up, even though I do speak Spanish. I'm like, ah. Um, he's from, like, Union City, right? He's, like, a... He's a New Yorker, uh, Cuban, which my family was. Oh, enjoy your laundry, uh, John. I love your stuff. Uh, so, yeah, I... Uh, he's pretty cool. Well, at least in the, uh, ten minutes that I got to talk to him. Uh, he seemed very nice. We also talked about, I think, having kids. <laughs> he's, uh, he's got, like, a six-year-old. So, um, it's funny, because I meet a lot of, like, people who, like, had children later in life, and it's like, oh. Like, I thought I was not a young mom. I don't think I'm an old mom, but I don't think I'm a young mom. And he, um, I think he had children in his 50s. Um, which, I don't know, I wouldn't fucking recommend, because fucking hell. So tiring. Oh, but so enjoyable. I can't, I can't say bad things about it. <sighs> All right, guys. I think I'm going to leave it there because I need to finally eat the breakfast. So there you go. See, I took off the hat. Oh, my God. What an atrocity. Look at this. Ugh, I'm ashamed of myself. Go wash your hair, you fucking gross-ass weirdo. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go do that. So everybody... In the live stream, thanks for being on here. Uh, I'll try to do these more often, all right, guys? Uh, thanks for joining. <laughs> Bye!